Have you ever wanted to try Arch Linux? So you can also say I use Arch by the way, but you couldn't because it's too difficult to install. To be honest, installing Arch Linux is not that difficult. You can simply use Arch install script, which makes installing Arch pretty easy. The most difficult part about using Arch Linux is making it work for you. Arch Linux is a distro that you have to configure by yourself. So for the beginners, it's not a great distro. So you have to go something like Ubuntu, Linux Mint. I have been actually testing Linux here and there. And uh, right now I'm using a Linux distro called Cache OS. And this is a Linux distro that is based on Arch Linux. And this is the only Linux distro based on Arch Linux that actually worked for me. So I wanted to show you guys this. So you can also say I use Arch, by the way. This is basically Arch. So this is the official website. It says blazingly fast and customizable Linux distro. But this is the most important part. This OS is user friendly. And from my experience, I can say this is actually the most user friendly Arch Linux distro that I have ever used. This is also actually available for handheld devices like the Steam Deck or something. Now you just make a bootable USB drive and boot into the OS. If you don't know how to make bootable USB drive and then boot into this OS then you have to learn that but I'm pretty sure since you're watching a Linux video you probably know those basic stuffs how to make bootable USB drive and how to boot into the OS once you boot into the OS this is what it's going to look like this is basically a live CD here you can launch the installer make sure you're connected to the internet this is a online installer but let me actually give you guys a quick tutorial on how to install Cache OS or Arch Linux but difficulty level easy so you select your language here next you select your location time and zone keyboard layout here you have to select the disk where you want to install it if you have windows already installed you will also see a option to do a dual boot i prefer the gnome actually because it's more stable uh, kde plasma is user friendly for windows users but you can make gnome work like windows if you want to but i prefer gnome just because it's more stable than the kde plasma this is where you select the uh, desktop environment for new users just go for the gnome okay and just keep hitting next and enter your username password and then just click on install and it will start installing that's it it's pretty easy to install. Now, I have this thing installed on my actual laptop. Uh, I don't think I need to explain about the desktop environment based on which desktop environment you have selected. This is gonna look different. This is GNOME, this is how it looks, uh, kind of like Mac OS style. I actually have customized this in a way that it looks like Windows 11. I wanna make a video on that so I have those things turned off so you guys won't get confused. So this is the default look of GNOME. So once you install this operating system, you can just start doing your things, start installing applications or whatever you're trying to do. You don't have to configure anything. This is the beauty of this uh, operating system actually. You don't have to do anything. And this thing is actually based on Urge. And this OS will also have uh, this application called Octopi and using this application you can actually install other applications that you want to install and I recommend you guys to go and download this application called Bauh, B -A -U -H, which I already have installed just in my opinion this application is better than Octopi. Octopi is also good but Bauh, <laughs> I hope that's how you pronounce it if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. You can also look for the applications that you want to install. Let's say, for example, OBS. So basically, this system comes with everything that you need. You don't have to do anything. So let's say, for example, I want to install OBS Studio. I'm, I can just look for OBS Studio and just install it. Let me go into the settings and let me show you guys what it is. Okay, and here. Uh, this is what I named it, <laughs> Penguin OS. You can see this is Cache OS, rolling release, uh, and the latest kernel, 6.13, okay? Latest stable kernel, actually, okay? So it's not going to push the testing or experimental kernels. It's going to have the latest stable kernel. And Wayland, by default, even if you have a NVIDIA GPU, I think I'm 
talking too technical here for a new uh, Linux user or for who just want to try Arch Linux. But I think you need a little bit knowledge once you get into the Linux world. There are Wayland, X11, different uh, desktop environment, dis different package managers. I mean, there are so many things. I think those are some basic stuffs that you have to know. Other than that, uh, like setting up entire operating system by yourself and all that aren't actually necessary. Like as I said in the beginning of this video, installing Arch Linux isn't that difficult, but configuring it is difficult. That's the difficult part of using Arch Linux. But thankfully, we have many Linux distros out there. But in my opinion, I have been testing many Linux distros out there. And after, you know, testing a lot of Linux distros, I actually liked Ubuntu. And after that, I wanted to try a new uh, desktop environment called Cosmic. And then for that, I actually used Cache OS because uh, it supports Cosmic Desktop. Once I installed Cache OS, I was like, this distro is based on Arch, right? But why is this like working out of the box? I was like, what? I don't have to do anything. Everything is pre-installed. Everything is pre-configured. And now I can say I use Arch, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to throw out some too technical or complicated words out there. All I'm trying to say here is that this thing just works out of the box if you want to try Arch Linux based distro. I know there are many other distros based on Arch Linux, but in my opinion, this is the best and most user friendly Arch Linux based distro. And I can proudly kind of say I use Arch, by the way. Uh, and one more thing. I actually don't like the look of GNOME. <laughs> Let me show you guys something here. I'm not just playing around with Linux. I'm actually trying to use Linux and also trying to learn Linux, not at full extent, like configuring Linux by myself or compiling my own Linux. No, I don't want to do that. I just want a Linux distro that just works out of the box. That's what most people actually want, except the hardcore Linux uh, users out there, I know, but you like it or not, Linux is improving in this area too. There are some uh, Linux distros that actually work really well out of the box and you don't have to do anything like Ubuntu, uh, this, uh, Cache OS. And I've also heard about the, uh, what do you call it, Zorin OS, which I still have to test. According to some people, Zorin OS is the best Linux distro for windows users because it is pre-configured and you can install uh, windows apps and all that so yeah i think i'm just talking too much here so now let me show you guys my actual linux setup and i'm gonna make a different video just for this depending on how well this video gets received by you guys okay so let me show you guys <laughs> the power of linux I know some people are just gonna hate me for making this setup. Maybe this is just my personal preference. I'm a uh, Windows user. Currently, I'm using Windows 11. There are things that I don't like about Windows, but to be honest, I actually prefer how Windows 11 looks or I have been using Windows as it is because there is no way to customize or change Windows like drastically so we are kind of forced to use windows as it is and i actually make my linux setup look like windows <laughs> okay so this is how i actually use linux and i actually like it okay we have the windows 11 start menu here uh, let me show you guys something here now just compare the windows 11 and linux uh, os setup <laughs> they're just same Okay, and I like it actually. Maybe some people won't like this, but I actually prefer using Linux this way. And you know, Linux is very customizable. It doesn't matter which desktop environment you use. The most popular ones are KDE, GNOME. I prefer GNOME because it's more stable. Uh, it's more consistent. And I'm also waiting for the Cosmic Desktop. Cosmic Desktop is actually the reason why I installed cache os and i was impressed with this operating system this thing is actually really good and if you want something based on arch linux you want the latest and greatest 
the kernel softwares and everything and you don't want to try arch because it's just too difficult to configure and all that you know you should try a uh, uh, cache os it's actually good only if you want to try linux and arch based linux distro or arch that's it hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss about linux you can always do the comment and we can have a small discussion in the comments too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye